Hey everybody! Sorry it's been a while since I put out my last video, but I'm trying. Okay, so real quick I'll give you a, a recap of what I've been up to. I was able to go to dinner with Medal of Honor recipient Kyle Carpenter, and uh, that was pretty awesome. We went to Chinese, and he was super cool, so that was an awesome opportunity, and I uh, really respect the guy. Uh, next, I was able to take a trip over to California where uh, Cam Pendleton had a thing called XFOB, and so got to do some cool videos there, got to take uh, some really nice pictures of the beaches and of the surfers, uh, and actually while I was there, the wildfires were also going on. And I've also been in the mix of a move. So I've kind of got all my stuff in boxes, and I've been packing a lot and getting ready to move, but like I said, I've been everywhere, so I haven't really had a lot of time to get on my YouTube and respond to you guys. But I really want to talk to you guys today about the PFT, the physical fitness test, because I just ran my physical fitness test this morning. And what I ran was an 1838 three mile, and I was able to do my 100 crunches just fine. And then I actually got 18 pull ups, which is also another personal best for me, considering that when I first came into the Marine Corps, uh, I couldn't even do a single pull-up. Now everybody keeps asking me, okay, how do you actually get better at doing your PFT? And I guess the best way I can say it is for pull-ups, the easiest thing to do is just repetitively do them every day. They have these elastic rubber bands that you can put on the bar that help you do an assisted pull-up. And really the hardest part is getting the first and second pull-up down. Once you got the first one down, after that, it just you just keep going. And before you know it, you'll be at five and then seven, and then ten, and you just keep building up. So pull-ups are really one of those like mental things, I think, where you can do it, you just don't know you can, and your muscles don't know you can. So the more you practice pull-ups, the better. And also, uh, if you're someone that might be on the larger side, like myself, losing a little bit of weight, eating healthier, especially around PFT season, you're coming out of the winter, and you've been kind of like, I don't know, I don't want to say lazy, but you haven't been outside running, it's great outside. You can go outside, go to the track, go run long distance, go do some sprints, uh, eat healthy. Losing just even like three to five pounds makes all the difference when you're trying to get your pull-ups up. Now, another thing that some people have a problem with is crunches. Now, crunches is, to me, the easiest part. And what you got to remember is, you all you have to do is have your back touch. I'm not saying cheat, because it's not cheating. But you want to grab right down here around your elbows, and you press it to your chest, and the lower down your chest you go, the better, because all you have to do is have your elbows touch your knees. So if you think about it, you scrunch really close with your knees together, and then you put your elbows down as close as you can to your knees, and it's just the smallest little motion uh, to get those crunches done. So 100 crunches should be no problem, especially if you practice them. They're not as hard as a pull-up, so I know you can get them. I think the best way to improve your three-mile time is to really focus on a, leaning forward, because people start to forget to lean forward, they start uh, hitting with their heels on the ground, and you want to be on your toes as much as you can. Second thing is to focus on your stride, especially if you're a short guy like me. I've said it before, and people are normally surprised, I'm only like 5'8". I'm not that tall. So you really want to try to get that stride out there. You see those tall guys, and they're flying, and they've really got those long legs. So try to widen your stride a little bit. And third, you have to practice. It's just like pull-ups that... The more you practice it, the better you get. I know no one wants to go outside and they're like, oh yeah, three mile run. I'm like, really? No, unless you're a freak in nature. I don't think anybody's like, let's do a three mile run every day. But um, that's another thing. You don't have to do a three mile run every single day. I personally, to get ready for the PFT, I did a lot of sprinting. And I think that really helped because I was able to control my breathing better. And... It was a piece of cake this morning when I went out and ran my PFT. I was stressing about it a little bit, but and you always do. Even if it really like, even if you're really not up for promotion anytime soon or anything like that, for whatever reason, you just kind of get like that weird little heartbeat where you're like, oh man, don't mess this up. Especially if you're going around like your other buddies and they're all comparing how many pull-ups you did or whatever. You don't want to be that guy that gets like three pull-ups or something like that. So practice makes perfect when it comes to the PFT. There's nothing to it but going out every day and. Every time you walk by a pull-up bar, you can go out and buy the pull-up bars for your doors. If you're in the delayed enlistment program, ask your parents maybe to help you out a little bit. They're like $20 at Walmart. Super easy. I got one over my bathroom right now. I am an avid Xbox player. I got the Xbox one. And I'll give you my gamer tag and we'll game a little bit. 
So in between games, I'm in the pregame lobby. I'll run real quick, go do five to ten pull-ups, come back. And really, you're like, does that really help? And yeah, I think it definitely does help you. Uh, you don't necessarily have to break a crazy sweat to get a good workout in, especially with pull-ups. Like I said, it's like muscle memory. So practice every day, work on your form, and keep consistent with it. I think you'll be just fine.